video. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we are going to talk about 16 volt battery systems and why you might want to do them. Let's go ahead and get this battery pack out and we're going to talk some tech. Hopefully it'll all make sense. So the first question is, what are we using for our 16 volt system? It's an easy answer. We are using Turnigy 4S LiPo packs that you would originally probably use for a Sirius RC uh, race car or helicopter or something like that. 16,000 milliamp hours. Now you gotta buy the 20s. And then we go parallel. So we have 16 volts because 4S means four times 4.2 volts. Fully charged, 3.8 is nominal. And then we just wire this up like this would be to starter wires and ground just like you would if it was a normal battery. Now, the main reason we use these is they're lightweight. If you buy an actual 16 volt LiPo, number one, it doesn't have any voltage protection. It's hard to balance the cells. And they're big, so they take up room. And they're anywhere from $1,500 to $3,000 or more by the time you buy the battery and you got to buy the charger. And these are $200 a piece. So a little bit better deal. Now, why do I have 16 volt? A lot of it stems from deep down in there. You can see the, the balancer pulley. It doesn't have any belt drive on it. So I couldn't run an alternator. And three years ago, I was in a huge hurry when we did this. So we switched to 16 volt and I've never bothered to figure out the alternator. Now, fast forward three years to today, I was going to put an alternator back on it, but they're all back ordered. So that's, that's not going to happen before this race, but I'm going to go back to standard 12 volt system, 14 volt nominal, um, just because I only own one battery pack, so it's kind of irritating, and I'm not sure that I want to invest in a bunch more. So, why would you do it? Your injectors are going to be a little more stable. Even though I have a mechanical fuel pump right here, I have electric fuel pumps that feed my surge tank deep down in there. And so the pump runs better, you have more volume, everything's a little more happy. Uh, if you're not a street car, why have an alternator? If you have problems with belts flying off, uh, because maybe you have a V-belt design or numerous reasons, you have a pulley problem like I do. 16 volt makes a lot of sense. Street car, no. Race car, yes. If it's track only, you have time between rounds. So one of my main problems, as you can see right here, is I have a lot going on. I have a lot of material in a very small space so getting an alternator in there isn't going to be very easy because of the turbo kits on the front side and then we look down in the back and there's a whole bunch going on over there as well but i think i can get it to fit in and around the the turbo kit so we're going to give that a shot uh, steve p had asked for a little bit of info on 16 volt and why why would you do it mostly it's the electric fuel pumps your coils run a little bit better because they're running 16 volt. Uh, your ignition, your injectors rather, it's a little more constant. There's less fluctuation. It does drop, so you need to be on, on uh, the ball when you're tuning it. But most, most of our cars don't run long enough. It's not a big deal. Um, and we're not driving in traffic or anything. So to answer your question, Steve, one of the reasons is that there isn't much info is because there's just not really much to say. You're running a car on a battery instead of running it on, it on an alternator, so we're going to run more voltage than we need so that as it discharges, we're still 15 volts or more, which would be high for an alternator. That's the main reason I, I, I see to do it. You know, just removes complexity from the system. But you have to have a good charger. You have to have multiple battery packs. You have to have a generator when you're at the track. So it's not like it's hassle-free. It does require a, a good plan. We run enough of our cars that way. We can split the costs between the charger and the power supply for that and the, the generators on board uh, the semi. So it, it works out for us. It might not work out for everybody else. Um, 
And my advice is really, truly stay on an alternator unless you have a reason to do something different. Anyway, that about sums it up. Uh, if you do do 16 volt, don't let it get under 15.2 volts. Uh, 3.8 volts times 4 in this case is the nominal. If you get below that, you could start running into problems. I've let it get as low as 14.8 and... What will happen is the pack can swell and then burst into flames like, you know, cell phones and RC cars do. So that's fun. That is a definite downside. One more reason I want to go away from it. Uh, so anyway, if you like this content, please consider subscribing. If you have a friend that might be interested, please share it with them. If you've already subscribed, consider pressing the bell icon so that you get notified anytime we have updates. Thanks, guys. Take care.